your place tonight The office got you working late And when you're off you'll be too tired I don't want to make a scene You're just so good at what you do It's selfish of me to think
When you walk in the room, Miss And you can't see nobody else I'm not the only one who feels The switch inside my body chair
right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to day three of minor number six for PUBG Mobile ILG Cup Season 3. Big shout out to all the sponsors, time sponsor Alien Web, all by Logitech G, associate sponsors Next Multimedia and Kaspersky, GPU partner Galax, energy drink partner Monster Energy. I'm Shades there, joining me is Flash. Flash, what's up? Walk us through the flight path. Yeah, we have this time the flight path going in a different direction is moving from south, right? So we're seeing from south e uh, west moving towards the east. Mm -hmm. And this time, Primos, uh, George Paul, they're all going to be in cover. Pochinki School, Rozok, Severny, Riasna. Military power, Novo will be a little difficult, but people will still pick up vehicles, move to military based. Uh, based I, I see a lot of people who have dropped early. I think that's at least about six, seven squads there. And I do hope at least a couple of them uh, do head all the way towards a uh, military Literally, island. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think most of it is going to come down to uh, that first circle that comes out. Uh, we did see yesterday uh, when it did shift hard towards military island. We saw, I think it was a good part of three, four squads who just go, got up immediately, found vehicles and left into military island early. Try and find themselves that compound and continue looting inside military island itself. There is enough loot for uh, multiple squads in that area. Uh, you can, like you said, you can always pick up vehicles, head towards Novo as well, another uh, decent loot area and probably loot up quickly and come back probably for more bridge camp and uh, try and secure some of the kills from the squads rotating later in. But uh, right now, I think nobody is actually head towards Military Island. I see some uh, damage being taken as well outside as we quickly switch over. Squad 17 as well as 19. They are right now up towards the gas station area <coughs> and pretty decently spread out. I think three squads are pretty much here, but they're all not full strong. Uh, there's Richter 3 who's looking for vehicles far side. I see EOS Sasuke, who's uh, found himself in a building and is glitching through hard right now. It's one of the spectator bugs. Uh, does take a couple of seconds to stabilize out. And look at where uh, Richter is running. They found themselves a bike. And I think that's pretty much going to be uh, an early rotate out. Oh, nice set of skins there. He's got himself that... Uh, Mademoiselle hat with the uh, yellow jacket, but yeah, that is a rotate early through uh, into military island. They've got into the uh, bridges, and what are we looking at on the other side with squad number eight? John, yes, yeah, so squad number so North George has two squads that's squad number eight, and there's squad number 21. So they are looking to move towards. Uh, getting control of those apartments. There's already one squad who's holding the apartments over there, but squad number eight, they're trying to pick as much loot as they can and try and take as much uh, cover off that North George before the other team gets access to most of the buildings. Uh, Georgia Pole, I see uh, quite a decent clutter, but before we go to Georgia Pole, let's quickly have a look at where the circle's heading. The circle uh, has moved a little bit towards that. Uh, uh, central to southern eastern part so it's not a very hard shift it's uh, I think still gonna be and it's still gonna end up in the main island so I think military island uh, guys can chill here for now maybe phase two is when you will see them uh, rotate out towards the main island there's quite a few teams though towards that western uh, edge and I do expect there to be some early fights going through as well. I expect some early fights up at Georgia Pole as well. Typically, squads at Georgia, not not even fifty percent of them make it out of there. You see those early looting phases, and you eventually see that small uh, little battle break out right there itself, and. You only see the top two, uh, sometimes even a solitary squad only making it out of Georgia Pole. And uh, today, I don't see this being any different, Johnny. Yeah, it looks like squad number 17 and squad number 19 both are in mill base. And squad number 17 is right now heading towards the uh, C building. However, they I don't know if they realize that squad number 19 has already taken this position. It looks like an Anxiety is trying to check if someone is there. But yeah, he spots one on the terrace. And now Anxiety knows that there's a squad on top. Yeah, that's Richter 9. I've been spotted shots towards that direction. None of it connecting, but I think with that uh, anxiety, 
uh, ends up doing uh, yeah he gives up gives away his position and now uh, there are a couple more players uh, who are a little more towards the western side and i think anxiety is not going to take any chances this is straight up going to back off john up with the rest of his teammates let's move over to georgia pool where we have team cult uh, right now uh, they pretty much have containers all to themselves uh, again decent loot uh, completely uncontested but georgia pool has a few other residents as well only time will tell to see if these guys actually look to rotate uh, towards the apartments and uh, maybe even towards not george but that would uh, be a significant amount of risk to take Yeah, see, there's Reaper Exodia, uh, who's... Are they heading towards containers right now? I think they are. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, they have entered containers, and now this is going to be a battle. Squad number 18 versus squad number 13. Squad number 13 is in containers. I don't know if they have realized that the vehicle has come straight at them, but... <clears throat> yeah, I'll give you a quick aerial view <laughs> of what's happening here. Squad 18. Yeah, squad 13 knows. They're all taking TPP right now. Uh, squad number 18, in fact, has a couple of players way out in the open. So, they're not keeping this a secret, at least of their arrival. But they need to be careful because uh, Team Cult have been looting here for a good part of a couple of minutes now. And uh, they can, they definitely have the loot to go ahead and challenge this. Look at, oh, Reaper. They're going up from behind. Raven can respond back in kind. Shots fired. They're going to head towards the other side. Set up shot, but they've set up straight next to NJR who finds a first knock in. And there is Karthik up on the other side immediately going in for the rest. They do have cover off this uh, UAZ right now. Exodia goes for the peak, but he's just given away his position. The rest of Team Cult are and also going to come, come behind as well. Yeah, they're going to come collapsing in as well. Anuj as well as Raven, both here. Exodia is going to get knocked. Two flushes coming through. And look at the other squads. They're, just, they're coming in. They're coming in hot. They're like, come on, let's go. Let's go right here, right now. Let's take the fight. Trigger turns back around, gets the first knock through, but he will eventually end up getting knocked down. And Kritko... Oh no, Kirito is alone. He's got the first aid. His level two west is half bust. And he's got to go 1v2 now. I think 1v3. Uh, one knock uh, was found by Trigger. Trigger uh, luckily hasn't gotten flushed down. Smokes go out. And if they do delay this for maybe a, a five, 5 to 10 seconds uh, for that smoke that foolish bloomed up right now. Kirito... Maybe, just maybe can do this. These nades though are crucial. They're gonna come flying through. The last one I think is gonna make it all the way through. Goes right next to Weeby. Weeby makes inside. And uh, yeah, the nades do actually nothing. But that has bought time for Trigger to actually crawl back towards that warehouse. The res is coming out. And a team cult now. Decisions time. Do you fully hard commit to taking these two players down? Or... You can probably back off, continue looting, and maybe leave one or two scouts behind to see, hey, you get the knock, you get the knock, and then probably re-engage, else you let it go. But oh, Raven's been spotted. DP turned around with the two eggs. He's gonna fight one. He's gonna continue his Raven. He's gonna full flush him down. Bye-bye. They find their first way into this, but there are a couple of angles that they need to worry about as well. On the other side, Weeby finds one, and he's gonna re return back. He's like, hey, Flush my teammate down. I'm gonna do that straight back to you. And just like that, Trigger is gonna be the last man alive. And uh, what's the play here? We have NJR, we have Anuj, both charging up ahead. BB actually gonna go up to see if he can get a bird's eye view on this. He spotted, he spotted that Trigger. Gets dropped down to half HP. There was a trade potential. So, uh, Trigger does the right thing. Backs off, but it's back off screen. It's oh, 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 the running shots are good. He gets the knock in. Anuj coming in, but Anuj is so low himself. One single bullet's gonna seal the deal. Trigger dancing around. He's making it happen. Pre fires across. He's gonna go for the rest. Two players here. Very low. He's lining up the nade. Nade's gonna be everything. Oh no, it's a little more towards the right. It's not going to do much. And Trigger, he still finds a knock though. He wants the flush onto Anuj. Calls are coming in. Like, hey, he's going for the flush. Please get off. Oh, 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 oh. Launch down the target. He's going to get the second knock. He turns back around. Weeby's low. Dancing around. He spotted Weeby. And now 1v1. One, one. Can he do this? Oh, oh my oh, god. Play. A play 
coming in by Reaper Trigger. He wipes the squad One out. One we four, ladies and gentlemen. Reaper Trigger. The man, the myth, the legend. Who is this guy? He just went bonkers. He went mad. He saw, he saw his teammate getting flushed. And he's like, he's just lost it. Like, I'm gonna take all of these guys down. And it... It was so methodical, right? It, it wasn't that Hail Mary spray where he gets that 2-3 uh, man spray down. But we're quickly going to move over as we see squad number 15. Yoda is down. And Molotov to try and get the flush out. Maybe at least just pull leader out into the open. And get him uh, to take off this duel. Furman. Ah, uh, he does not have an angle. He's getting shot on the side. He's like, nope, 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 nope. I'm running away. Rest of his teammates weren't even close to get the... Uh, the trade. The trade there. That would definitely have been a flush. And, uh, yeah, for now, squad number 16, good to go. It's just the... I think 15 just have the one player there. It's just leader. And leader's gonna have to do the impossible. Come back, find these kills. Do exactly what Reaper's done uh, moments ago. Let me see if I can uh, find squad yeah, There they, they are. Ah, they find him. He's done for. And with that... It's going to be squad number 16 marching on as we quickly look back over towards the map right now and where circle is eventually going to be heading. We're going to stick till we uh, get to see phase two circle. Uh, right now, most of the squads already in. Squad number eight uh, still yet to make that rotate from Novo. We have uh, squad 20, 18. Both have found their vehicles and they're going to be uh, coming in very close to where uh, Mazik currently is. And the circle moves all the way towards the eastern side. And it still has no way in it. So squad number 7 is lucked out. They're like, hey, we've still got time to loot. They can go ahead and loot those uh, buildings in and around the bridge as well. So uh, not really in any immediate threat. But squad number 8, that's in North George right now. Look at the amount of distance they've got to cover. <laughs> they've got to go through hell and back. And there's going to... Looking at the spread of teams as well, 21, 20, 18, I think all of these guys are going to gatekeep that north-western part of the circle. And squad number 8, uh, first of all, they're going to be coming in pretty hit up by that blue zone. And I don't even think uh, they're going to be uh, given sufficient enough of time before they're going to have to jump into some of these fights. Uh, as we said, let's move, let's move over. To what's happening on uh, Donnie's screen, we have uh, Rez Legend. And he's very close to the uh, squad number 17. One player who's hiding behind the rocks over there. He's the only player alive. And he's like, okay. They have a bird's eye view of the drop. I don't know if Legends will want to pick up that drop though. Yeah. I, like, we talked about this all day yesterday. We pretty much talked about it during uh, the previous miners as well. Qualifier games, group stages, you don't really want to uh, risk it. Uh, it's just way too risky. It's a one-map game. We have close to seven, 16 to 18 squads that take part in each of these maps. And only the top four qualify. So there's a lot on the line. And I think uh, just going for the drop is a little too RNG uh, to even attempt. So, so well, let's have a look at EOS. Who's uh, Zeus? He's, okay, attempt number three is gonna be uh, finally able to get himself over to the roof there. Uh, let's move over to squad number 21. We have so squad RGB 21, fast. Yeah, they just make it into the circle and they might look to try and gather one compound over there for their team. It could be the one on the right or they might want to go a little bit deep into the circle because there's already squad number 14 who's taken the compound on their left. Okay, so they're looking maybe to go towards Milta. Squad number 6 has already taken the compound to their right and it looks like there's some action happening on team I and T. Uh, squad number 12, in fact, K4D, I think, are uh, looking to get into some action here. The shots being fired and they already have a knock onto poison who does get raised back up by uh, int king there was that warehouse cover uh, they're down to actually only two players right now rk4d they've already lost chai samosa and 
Oh, that nade. Yeah, nade's good. It does so much damage onto poison. Poison now having to heal himself. Let's look at what's happening. Oh, the long jump straight into the current. This man is basically Batman. Who's this going to be able to jump in? To but they're all going to go past off. And he's praying away as well. This guy has put a death mark on himself. He's like, come at me. And squad number 10, unfortunately. I don't think they have any vehicles on them. So uh, they're going to be like... Oh, they do have one vehicle. So they're going to pick up that vehicle. Are they, but do you really want to charge at I them? I don't know if they will want to charge at no, them. You, no. you definitely don't. Because you don't really know how far away squad number 12 is gone. They're going to just, for all you know, head up the hill. Set up bait. And wait for squad number 10 to go chasing. I think they're going to be uh, happy right now. Just saying, hey. Let's sit back. Let's loot. Uh... They're actually going to bring their uh, UAZ back inside to ensure that uh, it doesn't really get sniped off by incoming players. And those two players, I think that was squad number 10, was it? Squad number 8, I think, who were at Georgia Bowl. Both of them end up actually dying to the zone. So, yeah, mistakes were made, but... Right now, we're down to the top 13 squads. So, uh, quickly have a look back at how the circle's currently looking like. Um, all of them already in. Squad number 16 is going to be the last squad in. Uh, and they're going to be coming in hot at the edge of the water. Uh, it's almost certain right now that the circle is going to be on the main island. But the question is, how much inward? Uh, are we heading towards the beach on the... Uh, or are we going towards shelter? Yeah, or are we going to be heading towards farm shelter? So, only time will tell. For now, though, squad number 8 and 18, I believe, are pretty close. Uh, we're going to quickly take a look back at 21. Squad number 21 is also holding Milta carefully. They're waiting They're waiting for someone to make show their presence in Milta. None of these teams, however, are trying to show that aggression because they know they need to make it to the top four. But you also have to realize that top four with kills will definitely confirm your position because eventually I've seen a lot of teams that are at top are in sixth position but have quite a lot of teams. They make their way up. So just making it through position points is not enough. Yeah, we're going to quickly look over back at Reaper X Trigger. If Reaper X qualifies here today, it's gonna have to be on a miraculous attempt here right, by trigger. trigger yeah definitely who's uh, been the man yeah he's got four kills as well under his back so uh quite honestly he's not under any pressure to take these fights because he's already secured four points uh, even if they end up third position with four points i think they're good to go they will um in majority of the cases just straight up make it to the semi-finals tomorrow but uh it is still a risk and you're gonna have to play very, very safe, right? Because uh, the final few circles, there's gonna be a lot of chances of third party, fourth party. And right now, I think LGC are gonna end up losing one of their players here. Uh, the squad number 22, just driving by, taking him down. He's pretty much in the middle of the uh, street. They're very surprising, split up from the rest of his teammates. Anxiety as well as uh, LGC Beast are looking on from oh, the combat step ahead. getting fired on and the knock is already there onto one of the teammates they are for good but they need to get the res up on to ipman yt they're dropping two smokes there is now they know squad number 20 is in the squad house below and are they going to take the fight that's the question or they're just going to you know revive him and move out of there i they think they only have one kill so squad number 20 moves out but uh, i'm not sure if it is with an intent to chase I think it's... They just saw the vehicle coming and they fired at the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. So I don't see there being uh, too much of a response from squad number 20. I think they're just going to spread out a bit. Uh, that is uh, one primary thing I, uh, most of the squads do. You don't really want to get clumped in one house. Eight. Oh, there's squad number seven as well. Yeah. So this is a three-way fight. <laughs> squad number seven, squad number 20, and squad number 10. I was wondering why he's throwing a nade. I didn't realize squad number seven's already made their way over there. There were bullets being rained on him from that opposite comp. But it now see, there's a drop. Is squad number 10 going to go for the drop or are they going to take the fight? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, nice. Riser. <coughs> 
has the entirety of squad seven right next to him and he's gonna drop a few smokes a couple of nades and he's backed off to join up with the rest of his teammates all of this is being seen from above by uh, squad number 10 <coughs> who are also charging up by the way they've already charged up and they want to make their play uh, they're at the edge of the smoke i don't think they've realized squad number seven has made their way to the building yeah i think right now they think there is only one squad that is looking their way little are they aware of their being squad number seven as well but the problem right now is for squad number 20 there's just too many people poison takes massive amounts of damage though and it does come from riser but if man he gets one knock on to a guy and now the push is coming king has gone in yeah yeah oh riser he takes massive damage there he's inside one single nade into this room and it is all curtains right now we have uh, Burns, who goes charging out, they want to make that push in. Uh, in King, oh, he goes down. He gets down. knocked. He gets knocked, and I think they play it slow right now. First stage coming also through. In. Influence is also in the building. Is team number seven going to capitalize on this, or is the perfect timing? Molotov is crazy good. It gets the knock onto Burns. But cartoon, cartoon takes away one kill. T mine, T. It went into their own demise, and and right now, uh, Red's coming off onto Riser. Squad number seven's thinking, "Hey, I think we make the play right now. Let's go." They've lost two players on their side. We have Poo right now taking TPP. A couple of players have uh, spread out from squad number seven. In fact, finally they get themselves out of that building, but. Uh, needs being but tossed. You see, squad number eight has come on the horizon as well, and that's iconic sitting over there on the horizon. He's waiting. He might be hearing all these sound cues. Yeah, but the but the thing is, he has his line of sight is straight at squad number twenty. So squad twenty cannot seem to catch a break. They're just having teams pour on them one by one. They've already lost two. Uh, it's gonna be a hard task. Qualifying from this game, they've already lost two and they've four kills under their bag. Uh, but I think the only way out of this is probably to fight squad seven. Oh, squad number eight has made his way straight in. Uh, yeah. Are they driving or are they going to wait? Riser, Riser spots him out, uh, unleashes like half a clip on him. But they are on the mountain. They are also waiting. Now it's again going to be another three way. This looks like this is the hot spot of this map. Yeah, this is the place to be right now as. Uh, we're gonna take a quick breather on both squads. Uh, just taking TPP, getting their information up again. Uh, they do have a UAZ inside, and by the way, looks of the smokes being dropped. Do you do you think it's gonna be an attempt to just pick up the UAZ at one? Oh, Poo, rattling off some shots over there, but unable to connect on anyone because he didn't have clear sight over there onto anyone over there. I don't know uh, why they're taking so long to make the push. If they had nades, they could have definitely made that push over there. Indeed. But uh, right now... On the other hand, squad number 20 is already fighting squad number 8. Squad number 8 is getting pincered from behind. Squad number 16 has also made their way there. Squad number 12 is also coming. This is a five-way battle. Yeah, let's move over and see what's happening with... The fight above, as we do have squad 16 and 8, both close to each other. 8's dropped the smokes. I think they did have one of their players knocked as well. Coffin's very low. Nades tossed ahead. Uh, Coffin will be able to get that two first aid off. But I think there's no getting out of this. Oh, Shaw's coming in firm. towards the Dacia. And there is connection on both Iconic and Coffin to make their way into the smoke. And the Molotov. While on the other hand, squad number 20 have already started the fight with squad number 7. Molotov comes in. Molotov does, in fact, knock down Iconic. Coffin's desperately dropping more smokes down. And he needs to go for the rest. Molotov on the corner though. Coffin almost ends up getting himself knocked down. But he's going to go prone. Look for those ah, first aids. The Molot Molotov is going to burn them alive. That's the end of PUBG. <laughs> I mean, the squad PUBG. The squad PUBG. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a drastic... Let's go back to squad number 20. This is going to be fun. Squad number 20 are ready to fight squad number 7 again. 
Yeah, I'm going to bring you back to this fight, back down the hill, where we have a few smokes dropped for 20. Are they actually going to look to cut the distance? I'm not really sure how this is. They're just going to head out, try and wing this away. And they have successfully managed to do so. Oh, they've, they've scooted from there and now they're heading. But let's, oh, let's head back over to another fight that's actually squad food. Die. 14 and 22, they're fighting each other. Bavinder peeks back out. He's going to get the knock in, but there is Mudra as well as uh, Carry, who's out in the open. He's going to take a quick second, get the first aid. He's going to go for the rest. The, his teammate is slowly looking over. Smoke's being dropped as well. His teammate, oh, he peeks out for a second and gets his head ripped off clean. What's the play here? Mudra. Still trying to take TPP. He sees the smokes below and Legend's gonna get flushed down by BT Anxiety from the far side. That is mad. Alright, nades being prepped, cooked, thrown away on the other side. Reaper X Trigger still continues to survive through all of this. There's only 10 squads alive and he's made it to that top 10 situation. How much further can he take this? We're gonna stay though. With squad 14 versus squad number 22. It's a 2v3 situation, I believe. Smokes dropped, heels popped, and... Squad number 21. Squad number 21. His head up. He's seen the smokes and nope, 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 nope. Not that way, not that way. The squad's there, they're getting ready to fight. I don't want to go there. And there's Jussie, who's driving into everybody. There's smokes coming up on the UAC. Jussie pops out, he needs to head out. No, Wakel gets blown up, so does his dreams. At least in this matchup, and that's gonna be squad number six losing one. On the far side, we have Anxiety. This is squad number five and squad number six. Squad number six is coming straight into squad number five. Yep, he comes charging through. I think Slayer is actually charging up at Jassi here. We're gonna try and pick him up, but it's gonna be very risky. Oh, and Jassi actually gets cleaned up. Nate coming in onto his own self. Go go. He <laughs> survives though for now. Ankit, they're planning to drop that Nate onto Ankit. Oh, but Slayer has been spotted. He gets tagged back down and he is finished up as well. And Ankit. Takes a follow of that. Now, God does not know that. He thinks that there are more people. He's going to drop the smoke. Maybe he'll want to go pick up that loot. There's 47 seconds left. Right now, that loot is going to be crucial because we're going to move into the last zones and those heals are very crucial in the last zone. He's just going to go. He drops the smoke because of that. He's able to change his backpack, pick up so many boosters and he changes his helmet as well. So that's been a good surprise for him when he gets that kill. But now he has to make his way to the zone as well. There's squad number 20 right in front of him. Look at this. There's squad 20, squad 5. Uh, there's 7 and 17 also here right at the edge. Uh, anxiety. I don't think he even sees this though. He eventually does. Anxiety sprays away. He does the connection onto one and he will find the first knock in. There's Poo and Shinchan as well. Is he going to go for the flush? Smoke's coming out in a desperate attempt to keep... Hage Maru alive and that does in fact work to anxiety's advantage. He is able to get that full reload out onto the DP and in the smoke, where is he going? Head out right now. He's just going for some Hail Mary's plays across. He's spotted in the corner and cleaned. Shinchan finds the kill in and that is going to be the end of squad number 17. But squad number 5 on the other side, they're taking their own fight here up against squad 20. Risers is still up. At the edge, we have BTW Gogo. Is he? I think he's on the other side of the ridge. So, Riser is going to be able to crawl his way into the zone right now. And uh, pop that first aid out. We're going to head over and look at this fight here. Squad 21. It's going up against 16. A quick nade out from the smoke. And uh, on the far side, we actually see Riser taking and down. He gets taken down. Yeah. yeah, he takes down Poo. <coughs> and I believe there was... Another player there as well. Not really sure on uh, what the situation right now is with that. BTW. He spots out Sin Chan. Shot fired is going to do some damage. But... Uh, he's trying to spray away somewhere onto Sin Chan. He's 
trying to assume and see if there's some place he can get that kill right now he only has two kills for his team but they have secured fourth position the entirety of eos above and the question is when is he gonna go ahead and pull the trigger because 1v4 it's so risky to do so and there's shots coming in towards the vehicle and oh unfortunately fast didn't really have too much of an option there especially since he had the blue behind him so he had to move back into the blue zone also take some partial damage from that uh, dacia blowing up so unfortunately for rgb fast he had himself a uh, med kit and he's gonna be able to heal back up but he stands up oh he sees him oh how far right next to him he's whiffing so many shots though and he's in the blue zone he's taking so much blue damage and eventually eos will put him out of his misery i think it was sasuke who finds the knock eventually and the kill up and it looks like squad 16 their positions are given up sasuke finds another knock on to satan we have driller who's running out into the open there's bowing to find away as well into this direction and squad number 16 they're in shambles right now and they will eventually get a knockback over onto Bavin or Sasuke. Fortunately, was already under cover at that tree and he's going to be able to get the res out. It is still a 3v3 oh, they're situation. The they're they need, the yeah, push. they're going to go for the push. The but nades, mollies, everything. Yeah, they need to fall back. They need to fall back. There's another player there's, who's very low in the nade. Actually catches Bavinner and Bavinner is done for. But luckily, they do have the cover of this rock right here. And it's going to come down to how Sasuke can play this end game scenario he sees the players they're all in a very tight clump and zeus oh it's two fights one. Oh, zeus EOS. fights two now fights two. zeus it's all on to zeus now zeus can push this he should realize that they're two knock they need to oh, go for this oh zeus gets knocked as well and it's down to a one we won there is a molotov down and driller gets flushed and Furman is going to go for the res onto his teammate here dark said nade out how good is this is it close to Sasuke? He's right next to the nade! <laughs> he what a he walked is. right next to the nade and got prone. And that is gonna be Furman clutching that out for SD. They're gonna close it out on 16 kill chicken. Then a wonderfully done. Four kills onto EOS for second position. Two kills onto BTW. That Lone Ranger, the survivor. Four kills, I think CRTN is going to shift one position up and take that fourth final qualifier spot. And Reaper actually ends up in 10th. They're not going to qualify. So an amazing effort regardless, but it's going to go in vain. Thank you so much for all the people who tuned in. We will take a quick commercial break. We will be back with the results and we will... Head into Group H, which will be the final qualifier game for minor number six coming up in just a bit. So do stick around.
single tear on my face. Pockets overflowing with what I need today. Doesn't mean that it's easy and it isn't always great, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good The picture isn't perfect, the road ain't always straight It gets a little crazy, and you know sometimes we need a break But it's better
welcome everybody final game of the qualifiers here minor number six for ilg cup season three pubg mobile i'm shaitzler joining me back is flash flash this is it we get to know our uh, final two four squads teams. the final four squads actually we're making it to the semi-finals tomorrow as uh, we quickly go ahead and uh, jump into the flight path johnny take us through it uh, this time it's bank cross the center from north to south so every place is accessible right that's i don't need to say it you can go anywhere you want in this map but uh, going by the trend of uh, minor number five and six i'm gonna put my money on that western circle this centered time, around yeah. guard car <laughs> but this time the fun is going to be a lot of people might want to contest military base and know because the flight path goes straight through there you can even go to uh, Georgia Pool as well. You can go to No Containers as well. You can go to Mill Base straight bang. So let's see how many teams have the you know how many teams dare to take those early fights and want that heavy loot, or are they just gonna play safe? I think it's a since this is that one map qualifier still right. You wanna take the safer route out. You don't really wanna go into an area where there's just too many teams cluttered because. At that point of time, a lot is going to come down to RNG. A lot is going to come down to third partying, fourth uh, partying teams getting involved as well. And it just gets tricky right off the bat. And even if you come out of that situation, you might eventually uh, end up at a point where uh, you are just so low on resources, even if you won the fights, that um, moving into the final few circles, you're gonna put yourself in a pretty disadvantageous position compared to the rest of the squads. But as I say that, looking back at military base, uh, I see two squads who are gonna be heading uh, to military island. It's gonna be a real assault as well as squad number 18. I believe that is Pixel. Trex Elite. Yeah. Uh, who's they go by the tag of Pixel, so. And let's move over and have a look at Frost right now. Seems like he's already found himself the car 98. 98. The first weapon you find and Tommy gun. So they also have some SLRs over there. They're going to pick up a few backpacks. So they've got that quick. So this is one place I like to drop when I'm dropping in Middle Island is go to Real Assault. Actually has uh, one of the players from squad 18 in the same building. And he's going to go down. I think they've heard the player there, Devil. Who's up in the first floor assault going for the chase? Devil's being spotted. He's getting his death running around this room. And they will fight the kill. Devil. First man down here in uh, group H. And uh, the action's already kick started. His teammates are gonna be looking for blood. Revenge, but, yes, indeed. Yeah, and. But the problem though is. Uh, at this point of time, this early on, unless there is a clear-cut opportunity for a trade, I don't think uh, you'd want to get yourself into these buildings because uh, real right now, they're in a strong position. Uh, they have, they'll have, they have significantly more time to keep looting as uh, squad number 18 makes their push in. But looks like squad 18, they're taking that peak with whatever they have. That M16 iron sight. He's not gonna get the job done unless you can hit some miraculous shots. So, I think they're gonna spread out, continue looting, and the circle has revealed itself. Unfortunately, I got that totally wrong. It's gonna go towards the north eastern part. Uh, pretty central again. So, most of these squads, even if you've gone uh, to pretty remote areas, you've got only shorter transitions to make. Um, let's move back over to Frost. What's happening, Johnny? Yeah, Frost is trying to find if uh, he can see anyone, catch anyone off guard over there, maybe get some positioning info. Oh, he sees Assault jumping. They are going to fire on him, but oh, finally one shot connects. But he's oh, look, look at this, look at this. Squad number eight, they just drive by Cancer and Cancer. He had actually a good part of uh, two, three seconds. He could have readjusted, but he's going to quickly move over as Frost, Frost gets the knock on to Assault over there. So, but freaking. He gets knocked by Frogman, and the problem is freaking he's on top of that freaking tower, the seventh story, and someone has to go and revive him and from there. Yeah, it is just so hard to actually uh, <laughs> head over to in that direction and get the res. Frost right now, he's just gonna set up shop. Uh, it's not gonna 
Looks like he's not moving too far out. He sees Freeman though moving out in the open. He's just checking to ensure that there is no teammates of him uh, who's ready to get that trade and he's just gonna rush up ahead. He knows exactly where he's playing from. Freeman gets caught with his pants down and that He's that is gonna squad be number... squad number five. They're done for Kapush. And they're gonna get the revive the as well on freaking. Yeah, they will get the revive. They do lose <laughs> Devil though initially. Uh, squad number five were able to get that flush out. So one thing is the squad in the last minor were hot and they were a team with very good amount of kills. So they are not afraid of taking fights. Indeed, as uh, we quickly switch over to Poira, that is squad fifteen, Grimmers. Who right now up at uh, Yas Yas Yasnaya Pauliana and uh, they've got company though in Yasnaya we have squad number 13 that is team L4W on the other side I did have one of the players from L4W in chat uh, I think before uh, we did uh, resume up the first game of the day move over to squad number 14 that is team XE we have Nick or is that I think that is pronounced Xenix is it I don't know Xenix. No, so that's team XE XNIC. XE XNIC. XNIC. Yeah. yeah I've I've had a few mistakes myself <laughs> uh, uh, which has been pointed out by the players that I I mean you have those tags clumped with your IGN and you don't really have like a clear-cut separator. Yeah, the problem <laughs> is when you're playing PMIT and all, they're not allowed to use... Special, special characters, things, right? Yeah, yeah. so, so uh, you can go ahead and confuse all the casters uh, as much as you want, but yeah, that I, I believe has its own... I can understand why that is. Uh, you, I, I think there's one person in this lobby whom we just saw, uh, who's his name written in reverse. The caster is probably going to have to go 180 here, do a headstand and probably read his name. Cancer. That's, cancer. that's typical cancer. <laughs> that's the definition of cancer. Living embodiment of that name. But uh, more, more on that maybe a little later. As squad number 15, we move over back towards Yas Naya. Let's see if they actually manage to spot anyone from squad 13. There's a fair bit of distance between the two of them, but squad 15 aren't really being coy about their movement. They're moving out in the open, and I'm guessing uh, Giant kind of knows of their positioning. At least the way uh, that he is prone right now, I think he maybe does not know the exact position, but he is kind of aware of their general whereabouts. Uh, looking over at squad number 8. We have Team Bole Legends. We've seen a lot of Bole Esports taking part. Uh, looks like they do have another sister team. Maybe completely re unrelated, maybe related. I never, I, I really don't know. But uh, it is Bole Legends who's uh, right now up at Lipovka. Uh, they've got pretty much the entirety of Lipovka to themselves. So And they have Adasia. So... Don't really need to worry too much. I think they are pretty much in the circle as well. Yep, uh, it does uh, encompass three-fourths of Lepovka. So even if they have to make that transition, it's just a very short one at that. Uh, we have a drop. First one going down. And what does it have? It has itself a Groza, a Suppressor, uh, and the Ghillie Suit as well. We did have one of the squads drive by very close. In fact, squad number 19. But little do they know, there's actually nobody here. There's actually nobody here. It's very close to school. Usually one of the hotspots in uh, pug matches, but uh, in tournament matches, uh, we barely get to see anyone heading towards school. Sometimes we do see maybe one or two uh, squads head towards Razak, but it is pretty rare that we see more. Let's head over back. Uh, as the circle is going to go ahead and reveal itself, uh, the circle. As the circle is going to push itself in, and I, th I see the military island teams already uh, making their rotate through the bridge and inside squads. Uh, 
7 and 16. They got a short rotation to make. Squad number 9, I believe, is also trying to get to the drop and might look to take the tussle up against squad 19. We're going to move over to Unknown Noob. We're at the setup. This setup just outside of Razak. I think squad number 6 though is looking to take this fight up against squad 14. Squad 14 was in that Dacia driving by. Some damage done in by uh, not RK. But uh, the Dacia manages to make its way. As I think it was a UAZ though. The UAZ manages to make its way over the ridge there. They're going to move their own UAZ inside to ensure that they do have some cover. Squad number 20. That is Cancer and Co. Are right now up on the hill. They're not too far away from uh, squad number 9's position. And I think I see a lot of squads in fact in that general area squad number 14 is looking to make their way into this three-way team battle as well and i see a lot of potential for some early fights here if you can quickly move over to an aerial view uh, i see gok already knocked down on the far side and squad number 14 are actually going to set up shop not too far away from uh, squad 19's position and uh, squad number nine is currently straight up ahead holding a compound which almost has formed like a triangle in and around these three teams now so this is going to be a standoff that we want to keep our eyes on moving ahead as well uh, i don't see any of these squads moving out anytime soon primarily because they have gone center circle right now uh, eventually i think during phases five six you will see them uh, reposition and head out but uh, it is still then going to be a question of trying to wear the opponents down try and uh, knock maybe a helmet west off uh, deplete through their meds and uh, make this fight a lot more favorable when uh, eventually one two or maybe all of them have to uh, reposition uh, out during those final few phases as uh, let's move back over and cycle through most what do man has himself the uh, cop card Dacia. I believe that's a pretty swag looking skin. But more <laughs> a little later on uh, cosmetics as we move back over to Dankster Johnny. Yeah, squad number 21 now. They are going to make their way towards the circle. And there was a squad that moved very close from that. That's squad number 10. But 10 did not engage in battle. The squad number 21 just spotted them. And they like let them pass. Then we'll take our vehicle and move after some time. Because... They still have around two and a half minutes to enter the zone. Yeah, most like I said, most of these squads didn't really have to make a hard uh, rotate out. So uh, they don't. They can take their own sweet time. They don't really need to uh, uh, really engage any of these squads. You always have time to go for that full rotate across if you have to try and uh, stay away from some of these squads. So. Uh, that way the circle's been pretty kind to all the squads here as, as it looks like Beerus did manage to uh, get a tag onto Nasty as he's trying to peek through the small peephole of a window and get an angle onto uh, maybe more players. Right now he spots absolutely none. Felix. Is he actually on the roof? I'm not really sure. Uh, at least I can't f find that out from this angle that he's holding right now. I believe he is taking TPP on the roof. No, he's actually inside. Okay, then he's got himself a mini. And not doing all that great on the healing department though. He's got one med kit, five bandages, three boosters, a couple of shots and he's all gonna be out of meds. It's gonna be a, a pretty tricky situation for him as uh, the game does progress and if he does end up uh, maybe if not getting knocked down, even taking in a couple of shots. What's happening with uh, squad 19 in so Now, squad number 19 have two squads next to them. That's squad number 14 and squad number 9. 
they one is towards the left one is towards the right so they do not know who to take that fight with but they have secured that compound they're going to wait for where the circle is going to move once that circle shows itself maybe then they'll want to take that fight right now they have only one kill in the kitty but i'm sure once you move on to the later circles you will be able to rack up a few kills yeah let's talk a little bit about uh, where the circle is heading johnny uh, the circle is right now gone centered pretty much around uh, the uh, yasnaya fields um, again still encompasses almost all of the squads so the squads that have taken compounds here don't really need to relocate back out and the squads that were on the western side are all making their way already in we have uh, squad 16 18 21 all of them already setting up shop here and i think this is the next uh, say a couple of minutes is all going to be about long range duels they're going to be all these squads who know the positions of the other squads nobody really wants to move out and change positions but you want to deplete as much resources away from your opponents and even things like maybe taking a west away maybe depleting a couple of first aids is going to go a long way in helping them take those fights when maybe a couple of phases later johnny mm. squad number 19 Let's check what squad number 18 is doing. Yeah, 18 right now Pixel. Uh they didn't have a decent fight early on. They find themselves two kills as well and uh, looks like they're going to be uh setting up shop in a compound that is north east of farm. Uh squad 16 and 21 might be looking to get into a fight real soon here. Not too far away from each other's location. Squad 21 though still up in vehicles and I think it is going to be a, a rotation out of here i don't see them stopping oh they're going this straight fight. are they going straight into them they're coming close to the spot though yeah it looks like they're going to go straight into them it looks like squad number oh damn sticker yeah dan dangster is already in and uh, now they have to take this fight or they have to wait for dangster to come towards them and then scoot from there molotovs get dropped and uh, he does get back up from amru but do you really want to stay and fight here that is the question they're at the edge so they, they're not really at any risk of getting third party right now so uh, i think i guess in that regard if they are inching itching to take a fight this is probably the best opportunity uh, it's going to come down to utility and how many nades they have right now cuz squad number 16 uh, in terms of territorial uh, positioning are have the superior advantage but look at where lunatic is lunatic as soon as he saw squad 21 come by gets out of the house goes for that long flank and amru has absolutely no idea that this has happened lunatic birds i view right now of the entirety of rotn even if a single one steps out even if anyone from rotn decides hey we will go for the flank not only are they going to isolate away from the rest of the team but they're going to have lunatic totally aware of players coming his way they're all going to get up and leave i think lunatic right now has got a small window to maybe unleash a couple of uh, sprays in but decides nope not going to do that and they're just going to let squad number 21 disengage on Yeah, squad number 21 is just going to disengage and leave from there. But, but they're heading yeah. straight into squad number 20, 18 by the looks of yeah. things. 18 getting in a few shots in that direction but uh, squad number 21 they had ample amount of time and space to work with quick readjustments as we look back at the circle and the circle has gone more central. It's actually moved a little more towards the southern side and uh, I th- initially thought it might be a Yasnaya Fields ending. It's definitely not going to be the case. Uh, there's quite a bit of street intersections here in play with. So I think the final few circles, if it does end up a little more central towards the current circle, uh, it's going to come down to the squads having to rotate out and cross the streets, and that is where it's going to get tricky. Primarily because you know, if these squads have taken fights earlier. they're going to be low on utility they're going to be low on meds and you're going to have to kind of guess where the next zone is going and if you get the guess wrong and if you don't really have uh, 
numbers it's going to be hard to get yourself into that top 4 top 2 situation but uh let's see how all of this plays out there's only i think maybe a few four or five players who are outside the zone right now the 16 squads still alive johnny 16 squads and the circle so small yes indeed the circle is so small just 16 squads alive and now is going to be fun because now action is going to happen everywhere you can see squad number 15 making its way towards squad number 19 yeah there is a real threat of third party fourth party oh, first party oh, 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 oh. they're going to go straight in no jokes whatsoever let's go let's take this fight right here right now door opens up kanduk what he was just afk or maybe he was just baiting him in like yeah hello got to bait and they're going to get the full flush out punisher he's going to push up buddy has worth watching this angle uh funbook is still down funbook didn't get flushed so there is an opportunity that aid though is so good on to the other side will it get a knock it does not but cancer finds a knock on the far side i'm not even sure i i think it's this fight maybe not but it's going to be punisher is looking for the nades nades are good rohit gets tagged down as punisher looks to go in for this push this tyson right up on the other side he spots tyson out he's got that tpp he's got that aim so he will get the knock and the full flush out and squad number 19 did you sit where they are and we had the entire squad walk and say hey take the four kills man just take it and fun book i'm not sure if i did genuinely think he was afk but he served but as the why, perfect bait right but yeah you give up on one person why would you leave your game um, i mean during a tournament match i don't know man maybe that was totally calculated four kills for one player i am I, i would take it man four kills uh, we've seen situations where you end up fifth sixth and you just climb because you've got those three or four kills additional kills compared to those guys and but right now the situation is 52 alive when i see that number i would not want to give it a trade uh, person yeah that is there as well this is not one of those typical circles where you it's not 10 squads it is 15 squads alive so do you really want to take a gamble losing one when a situation might arise where every single one of those members will come into play i'm not really sure Johnny, there's a pizza skinned UAZ. I had not seen this before. Have you? No, this is the first time I'm seeing this skin. Is yeah. it like a hot pizza? Or... No, this is this is a pizza skin. So yeah, uh, we we had of course uh, Mortal who did get the IRL pizza jacket when he did go down to the uh, PMCO Spring Split uh, Finals. This is that exact skin, but it looks like they've uh, released the skin out for. Uh, the uaz as well i'm pretty sure all the viewers out there are like hey man looks like squad number 20 is already hang fight against squad number 14 two people are already down here cells is getting hit from behind as well and now that's a lot of trouble people are taking their kills away yeah squad number 19 also making its way through and, and they got to get the flushes and cancer is so low he gets hit as well and now squad number 19 they go flushing through shots to be fired he gets one he finds two knocks in fact and he's going to look to go for more Can he push in? Timing's gonna be everything. Cancer finds okay, himself inside. He's healing up, and it's just a bloodbath. Cancer gets oh, what? Cancer holds on and he gets the kill. We saw one of the players from Squad 19 just go rushing in and like, yep, get the kill, get the kill. He's all ours. But Cancer says, "Am hey, I really sure about that?" Nope. He goes down, and now he's gonna drop smoke. Smoke heals coming out. There's Biras on the other side, who's itching to take a fight here. Needs being prepped. Biras actually crossing through cancers inside a nice room there, so he's not going to be able to uh, find a nade that uh, makes it all the way through. And Biras, you can see, he's not really worried about cancer. He's worried about getting third party here. He's uh, he's playing edge of the circle, so he knows there's going to be a lot more squads. in and around the circle looking for active fights guys who are sitting on zero kills right now this is the time they go out and they like hey 
let's find as many kills as we can so beat us uh, kind of guesses the situation correct and has taken up that defensive stance he does have teammates above him uh, actually above where cancer currently is so question comes how long do they want to hold on how long do they want to give cancer cancer is more than happy staying here he's not <coughs> going to move till the uh, full zone pushes itself inside and i want to quickly uh, look over and get an aerial view on this cancer <coughs> there these two players from squad number 14 they're going to eventually head back down by the looks of things uh there's so there are two cancers in the server there's one more uh, team which has a cancer and then this squad number 20 which has a cancer so there's a lot of cancer that's spreading in this map. Oh damn. But these are the guys who've been... This cancer's been playing amazing though. I don't know what cancer you're talking about. This guy's been uh, playing out of his mind. He's been looking. Looking oh, for those fights. B-Rush, he's making the push in. He does not know cancer's there. Is he going to check that? Wait. He knows, he knows, he knows. He's going to check it. He's not going to get up. Shoot it. He's not cancer. He holds on. Surprise. Take the shots in, get flushed, get wrecked! He's gonna go for more, but the second time around, he's not as lucky. He is done for, and Team XC, they're gonna hold on, but they did lose B-Rust there eventually. But I think they'll, they'll take that. They have five kills, top 12, uh, decent position, edge of the circle. Uh, what's happening with squad 21, Johnny? Yeah, squad number 21, uh, squad number 11 and 10 to the left. And squad number six to the right, and now they are they're just tailing the circle to see who they should because they have got high ground advantage. They All right, we move over. Them. Shots to be fired up at NOT. They get the knock in. It is Frost who's found the knock, but there are more people coming through. He can't even heal up, and he's just gonna get rushed over. They just run him over, no mercy whatsoever. And squad number seventeen, they will be able to pick up Intruder. Pixel is down. We're down to the top level right now. Blue's pushing in as well. And squad number le uh, 17 need to leave. They need to leave right here, right now. Look at Amru. To the top of the hill. Standing up. Casually uh, healing up. With no two foods given. Leaving himself way too exposed. But look at squad 17. They're driving into squad number 9. We're on the other side of the ridge. They're using a nice little ridge to work with Lindu. They know that their player is straight up ahead. And, oh, they do eventually get the spot out. We have Unshul peeking out and Unshul lands the first free in. That's the man advantage. Two players knocked down. Burnaby dropping the smokes in needs to go for the reses. He can't take this fight. There are way too many bodies on the other side. He's going to toss out a couple of names. Hoping to find a couple of knocks with that by as much time as possible. But I think squad number 9 right now, they're getting third party buying space and time for these reses to come through. Squad 17, they're in a decent position. Goke has managed to get knocked down as well. Crawling every single inch across to make it to Spirit. And Spirit is going to drop the smokes, get the reses. And meanwhile, squad number 6, casually drives by. These two squads are like, yeah, 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 don't mind us. It's driving by. Don't shoot at us. Look at his squad 14 right now. We have Nick. Who's sitting in a small peephole. Is he the only person from squad? The roof? No, 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 no. He's got a teammate who's right up next to him. And there are nades being tossed. But that's in not in the circle, right? So that he has to move. Yeah, up. he has to move. If that would have been in the circle, that would have been the place to be. I mean, this, this looks like a spot where you can hold on and look to out heal. But his teammate has gone down. Squad number 7 are here. They're ready to play. They get the knock, but look at where Zenik is. X Nick, hello. He hears him. I'm pretty sure his internal organs are screaming retribution. But he's gonna he's do, gonna do the smart play here. There's no reason to take this fight. Uh, Atom and others are right now thinking, hey. Who's this last guy? Oh, squad number eight, Bhole. They're in a fight. Squad number eleven comes and gets wrecked by team Bhole over there. But now they're getting fired from behind. And meanwhile, X Nick says, "What's up? You're gonna take one of my teammates now. I'm gonna do the same to you." He's trying to get the flush out onto Hitman. He does manage to make it to the edge of the compound. Nick jumps out. He's pretty low. They will get the kill in eventually. And oh, what? 
Nick? How did he go down? I don't think I spotted any tracers coming through. Maybe he just took fall damage. Uh, Gok charging up has spotted out Aurora. Prado is a little bit off target. His teammate gets knocked down. Sax is going to come in soon as well to look for this cleanup. And Gok has got no opportunity. He's going to have to reposition back. Use this Dacia for cover. Drop the smokes in. The tires are already being dealt up with his... Oh, two of his teammates actually... Nah, it's only spirit. Never mind. That card of playing mind tricks with me. But Sax, they're going to go for the push. Smoke is going to eventually bloom up. The question comes, Aurora, do you push in? I think this is the time you use up all your utility. The Molotov comes through. Unfortunately, though, uh, Spirit will be able to uh, get rezzed up. Gok moving back out. He's got nice little cover here. But as soon as he decides to move over and cross the uh, street right there, he's going to leave himself fully exposed. <coughs> On the other side, we have Amuru. I think he's all alone up against two players from squad number eight who are currently in and around the... I think one of the players is in fact inside the uh, shack, shack there yeah. while the other one is using these uh, vehicles for cover. And... It looks oh, like they're, they're, they're not very uh, aware of where uh, Amuru currently is and that's that might end up working in his advantage there, Johnny. Team Bole, squad number 21 knows that there are two people, Amruz in, knows that there are two people in front, he throws the Molotov as well, but this time now, Bole is going to throw the nades, Amru has to wake up, oh, he's Aru taking a lot of damage. And meanwhile, Aurora has also spotted Spirit, they get the knock in, go okay though, gets the response back out and he's leveled things up 1-1. One, one. He's going to go for the full spray out to try and get the flush, he's not going to find it. On the other side, Amru is actually just gonna go down to the zone. Never mind. So like I gonna give my life to the zone rather yeah. than giving it. Like, I'm not giving you the kills. And Bole actually gonna get one of their players knocked down. Crisis. Pretty low right now. Smoke's being prepped. They will eventually look to go for the rest by the looks of things. Uh, Spirits is already up. And I think he's looking to try and get the flush out onto Crisis. Crisis, in fact, is not uh, knocked. He's uh, he was he was very low hit, and he was able to get that full first aid off. So Crisis is still going to be in play here. It's down to a two v two v one. Oi, they've not actually moved a single inch. They've been sitting next to these Dazias forever. They had to drop, I think, a gazillion amount of smokes to eventually get the kill onto that one of the players from squad 6. Uh, Crisis still keeps himself alive. Spirit! Oh! Spirit ends up going down, but traded by Bole on the other side. Now it's a 1v... 1v1! 1v2. 1v2. As... One is Gok. knocked. These yeah, one is knocked. And Gok spots up there. He gets up for the spray. He gets the knock in with the AK, but his teammate gets flushed on the far side. How is he going to play this out? He's going to go for the fight up against IAG! Ho ho ho! That gargantuan clutch with the AK there at the end. Iron sight. His teammate is knocked down. He says, Believe in me. I've got this. 20% health. Two kills in. Gets the chicken dinner. And... Uh, Oi! Are going to be pretty happy about that. 7 kill chicken dinner, 2nd position for uh, Team Bole Legends. We're going to close it out with 10 kills, 3 kills on to UK07. ROT in 4th position, 4 kills, 3 kills on to uh, Atom, Frag Boy, Goko is not going to elevate them uh, into that uh, top 4 qualifier spot. So I think they're going to be pretty much stuck there. Anyone else? No, I don't think uh, anyone. There are 5 kills on to Pixel but 12th position. Nowhere enough. You need to be a double-digit territory there uh, if you are to go uh, that out that early and still be able to qualify uh, to the semi-finals tomorrow. Big shout out to all the people who tuned in. It's been an amazing two matches here today. Thank you so much for all the support. Tomorrow we go live with the two semi-finals. The first semi-final, I believe, is the one that everybody's waiting for. Team X will take the stand. We will have. Four maps played out tomorrow, two map semi-finals each, Erangel, Miramar. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. 
Big shout out to all the sponsors, title sponsor Alienware, powered by Logitech G, associate sponsors Next Day Multimedia and Kaspersky, GP partner Galax, energy drink partner Monster Energy, there's a Shades layer as well as Flash, signing off, goodbye, good night, see you folks tomorrow at 6pm.